So, Stefan, welcome. You're, we're here at Digital, Ovum Digital Futures in London. Uh, you gave a presentation um, this morning about some of the uh, interactions and experiences SAP is seeing in the, in the telco domain largely. I want to pick on one specific aspect, which is the development of new business opportunities for the traditional um, communication service providers. From, from the workings you've had with some of the big, big names in, in, the, in the world, in the, in the telco domain, where's the near-term opportunity for new revenue streams for telcos? Yes. Uh, so, so I mean, we, we have a perspective on this. I don't know if it's the right one. If, if probably, if I knew, well, where it, <laughs> it sounds like you're working with some of them on things that are actually happening and real. So right, that's very interesting right. to, yes. to know about. Yes. Yeah, so, so what what we're seeing? So we're working with a number of, of actors in in the, in the industry, and uh, what we're seeing is is a, a, a multitude of trends. So on one hand, the desire to expand the portfolio of digital services beyond core, right, to 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 drive this revenue, and I think. We're seeing a number of operators um, uh, investing in uh, home automation uh, um, uh, services. I mean, uh, AT&T Life, for example, or, or right. others, um, and embedding on, on uh, ex the expansion of those convenience services that are that are based on on, on digital to augment their reach. Um, I, I think that uh, it's clear that beyond this, um, cybersecurity services seem to be attracting a lot of interest. Um, investment in um, specific verticals like uh, healthcare, e-healthcare, okay. um, uh, and potentially uh, all services related to connected cars. Um, I talked this morning about smart parking services. Um, might, might might actually be um, an avenue uh, to generate those uh, those, those revenues. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we're, we're also looking, seeing a number of operators trying to find ways to drive revenue beyond connectivity in the IoT space. And I know that um, uh, some people and some, uh, some, some folks at Oven are, Oven are, are uh, a little bit um, negative or at least neutral about the, the possibilities that carriers have to succeed uh, beyond connectivity in the IoT space. But, but there is clearly a number of activities uh, in the works, um, particularly focusing on um, establishing vertical stacks beyond connectivity in specific industries, so service, serving specific industries with not only the connectivity but also the related uh, uh, IoT-based or sensor-based solution. Okay. And I think we see a number of players um, trying to penetrate the oil and gas business or the utilities business or the automotive business with, with those, uh, those uh, IoT-based stacks. Okay. And in doing that, are they learning that they need to develop partner ecosystems rather than trying to do it all themselves? I, I think they're starting to realize that, that, uh, <laughs> that uh, um, building or accessing the right, um, um, the right level of partners or, and, and the relevant uh, and, and compatible partners is going to be essential to their success. I spoke this morning uh, about uh, one example that we have in Japan where um, the SAP partner with Entity Docomo and Komatsu, uh, uh, um, a uh, construction equipment manufacturers, to deliver um, a cloud-based construction uh, process um, environment that may allow all the players um, uh, uh, in involved in the, the construction business, the engineering and construction business, uh, to, to share uh, uh, data and, and to operate more effectively. And in the process, hopefully, to, to, to drive more revenue for, for Entity Domain. Okay. So you see a continuing relevance for the communication service providers in the digital future? You, or do you, do you think there's a danger that they might just become the bit pipes and the the value will will escape them. Right. Uh, I mean, I'm an optimist. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I I believe that some players will thrive yeah. in in uh, in the new economy, and others will suffer. Right. Uh, the the question is, uh, who will they be? Uh, I, I do believe that we will see scale take a very play a very important role in, in that capacity to succeed. And I yes. believe that the large global players with a global scale will likely uh, um, will have more probability of success than, than, than uh, kind of, um, smaller players, niche players or country specific players. Yeah. The consolidation wheel keeps on turning, absolutely. So we'll see how that goes. Stefan, great to speak to you. Thanks so Thank much. You, Thank you.